Let's talk about games, shall we? So the footage of this game that you're seeing was recorded from my tablet. I started playing this game a few years back. I actually recently picked it back up again and started playing it. So I figured, hey, why not do a game review on it? So here we are. Plague Inc. was released in May 26 of 2012 and is a strategy simulation game where the player gets to control a sickness in which one unlucky NPC gets infected. At the start of the game you only get the choice of a bacteria until you beat the game on normal or brutal modes. Then other types of sicknesses unlock such as virus, fungus, parasite, prion, I don't think I'm saying that right, nanovirus, and bioweapon. And at the beginning you can choose the name of which your plague will be called during the game. As the game progresses, you can upgrade your plague by using points that you gain by popping bubbles and getting more people sick. These points can go into other ways to infect people like traveling through air, animals, birds, and so on. The objective is to more or less kill every human on earth with this plague before humanity puts together a cure. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. If your sickness is too deadly, it can kill the patients way too quickly, giving no one else time to get infected. And if you wait too long, people will find a cure. If you ignore cold or hot immunity, the virus will not spread to hot or cold areas in the world that easily. Plague Inc. shows the spread of infection by showing red spots on the world map. You can see your infections growing with how much more red you see on the map. Usually it starts out with a few dots, but if your disease is infectious enough, those dots will become much larger, much quicker. Plague Inc. has been downloaded over 85 million times. I would say it's pretty popular. Overall, the gameplay is fairly fun, and the more things you unlock, the more interesting the game gets. It can get fairly challenging, too. On a side note, according to Wikipedia, in January, during the 2020 coronavirus pandemic, Plague Inc. became the top-selling app in the Chinese market. The interest in the game was believed to be from gamers trying to deal with the fears involved with the outbreak. Endemic had to explain that even if Plague Inc. was developed with some knowledge of how infectious diseases are spread, the game's science was not set in stone with real life. To fix this, they added links to the World Health Organization's website on their own webpage in response to the coronavirus as not to mislead people. Endemic even used Plague Inc. to give a quarter of a million dollars to help fight the coronavirus, COVID-19. By February 2020, Plague Inc. had come back to be the top paid app on the iOS App Store, even doing better than Minecraft. HA! Take that, Minecraft! On another side note, February 27, 2020, the Chinese government had the game removed from the App Store in China, citing it as illegal content. So with all that said, I'd give this game about a 7 out of 10. It's a fun game to play, and a good time killer if you have the time to spare has a lot of replay value after you start unlocking other ways to get people sick. With all this talk about sickness and the coronavirus, I think it should be said that we want all of you other nerds out there to stay safe. Stay indoors and stay nerdy. Till then, we'll see you on the next Let's Talk About Games.